Good Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm here today on location at Apollo High School with Madison Hillard, who invited me over today to do a special segment on ENL, which is a news broadcast that they put out weekly here at Apollo High School. A few stories we have for you today, right from the top. A great story uh, involving Amanda Jerome. This is hot off the press. Amanda Jerome has been selected as the ACT College and Career Readiness Workforce Champion for the state of Kentucky. Well-deserved honor from Ms. Jerome. She's outstanding. They couldn't have found a better uh, selection. Next story comes from Deer Park Elementary School. I spent uh, an hour this week with the ELL class there uh, this week and just a little future insight. We are going to have a future star that's going to come out of Deer Park Elementary School. But the second thing I want to mention to you is a young man by the name of Luis is going to be a junior superintendent with me for a half a day or a full day here in the future. Really looking forward to that and can't wait for that to happen. Davis County Middle School. So Miss Robin Swift and her classroom of students wrote a letter, a persuasive story uh, to Coach K at Duke University. Now, I'm a big UK fan, not a Duke fan, but I have to tell you about this story because it's great. Out of hundreds and thousands of letters that they get every day, they received the package of her letters, and within that was a per persuasive story written about why they should get two tickets to a Duke basketball game. Well, believe it or not, Miss Swift got an email back this week uh, from Coach K and one of his staff members inviting them to a Duke ball game in the fall of 2019. So hats off, Ms. Swift. Great job for you. Also want to mention that our school and district report cards are now online. Encourage all members of our community, uh, as well as our students and staff, to get online just to see how our, stu our, our schools have done and also in comparison with those around the state. Last, I want to mention to you, I gave you a challenge last week to watch Martin Luther King Jr.'s Street Sweeper speech that he gave. That speech he gave six months prior to his assassination in Philadelphia to a group of junior high school students. With that speech, what he did is challenged us to be the very best that we can be at, no matter choice of what we make in life, to be the very best that we can be. I think that's a great inspirational story. I'd like for all of our teachers throughout Davis County to give to our students. Be the best version of yourself no matter what you choose in life. Madison, will you close us out for this week? Thank you for having me. I just want to wish everybody a happy weekend. Be safe. Oh.